It truly is a special place, a stadium every football fan should visit should he or she get the chance. The Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Real Madrid against Cadiz. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, it's great to see them play with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. And so the match is underway. Jude Bellingham. And he's beaten him here. On the defending knee. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team. 1-0, then. Vinicius Junior, surely the game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense victory. Well, look at this again. No real power, but great understanding of the situation. That's an excellent goal. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Carcelen. Chris Ramos. Very quick thinking there. Chouameni. What can Real do from this position? Of course. Now with Valverde. It has to be. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And fired over by Kroos. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it.
corner kick delivery from Tony Close. A oh, strong hand on the ball. But well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Vinicius! Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Superb block. Vinicius Jr. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Good run, very much in control of the situation. away by Real Madrid that's a good looking ball and he's made the run still a chance and a goal he's put it away a celebratory moment well as the replay shows us Vinicius Junior's pass is inch perfect and there's certainly no doubt about the finish really hits it with power and accuracy nothing the keeper can do about that well that's just what Ancelotti wanted he has to be happy with this performance from his team well on they go again and Real very much in control Chris Ramos Roger nicely timed tackle Mendy. Oh, good vision. Valverde. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And that will do it for the first half. It's a story of Real in front at the break. Well, as we highlighted, they look like a side who will score goals every time they go forward. Their front players have been so clever with their movement. This could turn into a rout in the second half. And so the second half is underway. They took quite the thrashing in that first 45. Can they turn things around now? And Bellingham. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. So a throw in for Real Madrid. Substitution for Real Madrid. Valverde well he made that interception look routine in truth it wasn't and the flag is up offside well that's just a lack of awareness he was clearly in an offside position Needed to be more accurate from the keeper. Vinicius Junior. And strong play here. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Here it is now, a substitution. And Real with the ball again. Carvajal.
Ozelu. And back with Carvajal. Can he finish? Thwarting him. Fairly easy for the referee to spot that deflection. So now a throw in. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Played in there. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Let's see about the delivery. In a good position to clear it away. Vinicius Jr. Oh, a smart stop. Who can he pick out? Good clearance. And play halted, free kick given. Well, it's always at the discretion of the referee, in this case opting not to book him. Maximiliano Gomez. Gomez. Oh, might be. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Bellingham. Ten minutes to go. Valverde. A very good tackle. He has teammates around him. A disappointing end to the move. Modric. Now Jose Lu. Jude Bellingham. Carvajal. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Juan Mi. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Bellingham. Vinicius Jr. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Decides to shoot. Oh, did... And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game and it's a victory for Real Madrid. The fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, I thought they played really well today. And once again, they showed exactly why they score so many goals. Their attacking play was excellent.